today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a tag video and this tag is called Prepare If I owned a makeup brand and this is created by Vicky Vlogs I will leave her up there and down in the description I saw this at uh, Teresa's Dead as well uh, I can leave her video down in the description as well and uh, this, these are some questions about if I owned a makeup brand, so I think we just get started. So the first question is, what would you name your brand? And I have no idea. I've been sitting here for a little while and thinking about this, but I don't know. I want something pretty short, like only one name, um, one word, and I don't know, and something like a little bit more on the gory side or the dark side. I don't know. <laughs> First, I was like Lobotic, Lobotomy cosme, cosme, Lobotomy makeup, Lobotomy cosmetics. It doesn't work. Lobotomy. It's not like a good word in your mouth. It's Lobotomy. So I don't actually know. But something short and something. I don't know. I definitely want something short, but I have no idea what. <sighs> if I come up with a name, I will write it down there. Other than that, I'm open for suggestions on anything, but something short. What would your pricing be like? Luxury, high-end, high, mid-end, or drugstore? And or drugstore. Um, I think mid-end, like a normal in the makeup brand so mid and because I think that is I have nothing against drugstore at all but it feels like an indie brand should be a, should be a mid mid end brand so yeah mid end what would your theme aesthetics be edgy food theme food themed girl etc and it would definitely be like grungy edgy and grungy and a little bit Gory. It feels like gory is the wrong word for it. Um, but definitely like a little bit on the darker side. Yeah. It would be. <laughs> so good at answering these questions. Yes, as normal. Uh, what would your color scheme packaging be like? And I would want to be like the moon spell palette from Lunar Beauty. I love that. It's so beautiful. Full. Or maybe like Shroud Cosmetics, the new Arcana or the Creepy Cute. So mostly dark and like simple shapes. I love triangles. I have my little... I kind of sit down here. My little washer stamp. It's a triangle with Lisa Lobotomy in. And something like that, something like easy, but it's really, really there. I I love these geometric shapes and like dots and things. So I would like my palettes to be pretty clean and then maybe do like one crazy palette, like creepy cute. Something like that. If you had to compare yourself to an existing brand, who would it be? Maybe Shroud? Because I like that they are pretty nice now. They don't have that many products, but I really like. I have their free palettes. I really, really like all of them. And I think that they are something like, like the Arcana palette. I really like how that is looking. It's a really grungy palette and it's so cool, but it's still pretty like simple if you just watch it. So like shroud i would say because they are really amazing how often would you release products and i think maybe four times a year is that much no it's not much maybe four times a year and maybe like have an eyeshadow palette and some lippies to that and maybe have like a small launch in between Maybe like some extra colors on a lippy or highlighter or something. But like four big releases per year and then maybe smaller releases with just adding colors to existing products. 
maybe three times. Would I like if a brand did that? Yes, I would do that. It feels like I'm missing some questions. I don't know. What do you want to be known for? Highlighter, eyeshadow, brushes, etc. I would like to be known for eyeshadows and liquid lipsticks. These are the two favorite things for me. Eyeshadows and liquid lipsticks. And to have a good liquid lipstick. It's like I love when brand has that. That is like one thing I really, really, really love when they have good liquid lipstick. Because liquid lipsticks can so easily be pure shit. And I would love it to be known like the brand that has the best liquid lipstick ever. And I also want to be known for having everything vegan. What would your first eyeshadow palette launch look like? Color, textures and whatnot. And I... Me and Jessica did a video, I think it was, was it the first time we recorded? And we did a um, makeup tag that was created by Millie from Bed to the Brow, I think. And then it was like, if you could create a palette or something like that. And then I said, Jessica came up with the most perfect name, Dirty Rainbow. And that is exactly what I wanted. To release for my first palette and if I want to explain a dirty rainbow if you think like a rainbow palette but with like grungy colors I would love to have like a mustard yellow and then a matte mustard yellow and a shimmery mustard yellow because that you don't find and all these grungy colors like some grayish and some some grayish maybe a shimmery black and a matte black and like a dirty green and a military green and then have maybe eight and sixteen so eight different colors and then like a corresponding so maybe a mustard a grayish a dirty green a red definitely a red and an orange. Now we're up to five. Yeah, but <laughs> I would love to do that. Like, because I like when palettes have one matte and one shimmer to them. But I really miss like a super all grunge palette where there is corresponding. And I really miss grungy colors that are shimmery. Grungy colors for me is like almost every time a matte one. I would love to have a shimmer, <laughs> shimmer grungy corresponding color. I would love that and if I ever do an eyeshadow palette it's going to look exactly like that. Your dream collab, celeb or influencer and why? And <laughs> I, I am like influencer and celebs I couldn't like care less so Nobody. I would love to do collabs with my YouTube friends and people that I trust. The most people I watch on YouTube are my YouTube friends or are like smaller YouTubers and I would love to collab with them because it feels like they have a different way of seeing makeup. So it, if I would collab with them it would be like much cooler than it would if I collabed with a bigger one. I think. How would you handle a scandal? I would, as Teresa said, I would address it. I would talk about it immediately when it comes up. Hopefully I would never be in the scandal if I ever had a makeup brand. But I would talk about it right from the start. And I would also... Listen to the customers and not blaming customers for lying to me. I would love to have the feedback from the customers and try to like figure everything out and come up with a good answer. I would not like, I'm not going to address this, I'm, I'm going to check for facts first. I would address it and tell you what I am doing and tell you how I try to fix it. I would not like try to dark it and like 
try to make that my customers are wrong. No, I would talk about it and I would try to fix it the best and maybe take help from the customers on how they think it, it should be handled. How would you distribute PR? I would send to smaller YouTube channels that I think is really cool and have my style that I would do. I wouldn't send to any bigger YouTubers. I would send to smaller YouTubers like to give back <laughs> and like I would just give to smaller YouTubers because I trust them more. Okay, it feels like I wanted to talk about something else. But it's not like a question for that. But maybe I just want to like have this in this. I want to do amazing red lipsticks. Maybe you already guessed that. I would do like an amazing red vault with lipsticks. Okay, and the last question. Would you rather be sold in Ulta or Sephora? And I live in Sweden, so we don't have Ulta here. We have Sephora. I would never sell at Sephora. Not in Sweden, at least. Because we have five stores in Sweden. And I want people to be able to feel things. I think I would be selling from my own site. Maybe Beauty Bay. But the problem with Sweden is... If you're selling at a store, we have Kix that it's really big in Sweden, but I think the most of the brand are like, it's the same with Sephora as well in Sweden. I like selling the brand to Kix and they are the only one that can sell it. It's like that with Linda Holberg in Sweden. If you live in Sweden, you can only buy it from Kix. And like Anastasia eyeshadow palettes, you can only buy them. You can buy them from Beauty Bay as well. But in stores, it's only Kicks that can sell Anastasia's eyeshadow palettes. And I would never want that because I want as many people as possible to feel the palettes. So maybe I would say Kicks, but I wouldn't be exclusive to Kicks. Like, is this ever going to happen? But I want to be out there for as many people as possible that can feel my palette and maybe swatch a lipstick or something and what and I think I want to do be like a little bit more exclusive to Europe and Sweden because in the brands in the US are really really like concentrated to US but I would like to have my main focus in Europe. Um, maybe that's a stupid idea, I don't know. But yeah, I'm talking about this like it's going to happen, but it's never going to happen. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you want to do it, do it. I think it was a fun tag and don't forget to check out Wiki. Wiki. Wiki? What's a strange name? Wiki. Wiki. It's like the Swedish pronunciation. Wiki. Wiki vlogs. Okay, I will leave all the info down in the description box and I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!